98.4% of students who sat for the PSLE this year under the new scoring system can progress to secondary school. Nearly 40,000 students were assessed using the Achievement Level Scoring Bands, or AL. Special consideration was given to those who missed papers due to COVID-19. The performance of students under the AL scoring bands this year is comparable to that of last year when the T-score system was in use. More students are eligible for the Express stream this year. The number eligible for the normal academic stream has dropped. There's a marginal increase in students who are eligible for the normal technical stream. About 65% of students from the normal course may take at least one subject at a more demanding level, the subject-based banding system. Now, this is an increase from 47% in this year's Secondary 1 cohort under the T-score system. The SBB eligibility criteria has been revised under the AL system to provide students with more opportunities to pursue their strengths and interests. Nearly 1,100 students missed at least one paper due to COVID-19, a significant increase from the 140 students affected last year. Special consideration was given to those who missed their papers to ensure that they were not at a disadvantage. Mitigating measures were also put in place, such as the removal of some examinable topics from the syllabus. A couple of milestones for primary six students in Singapore, sitting for their first national exam under a new scoring system and doing it during a pandemic. Under this unique circumstance, special considerations were given to more than 1,000 students who missed at least one paper due to COVID-19. Ipkavus Lowe could have been one of them when his parents tested positive for COVID two days before the national exam. But he showed his resilience when he chose not to miss any of his papers. When my parents asked my form teacher and my, and my other subject teacher if they, if they think I should go for this exam, they said yes as they have courage in me that uh, I can do better than what i had done before. When his parents were isolating due to the virus, he stepped up and took care of his younger sister. COVID is a disguise in some way. Without COVID, I won't be able to see how independent he is, know how resilient he is. I never realised that academic is not the most important. And most importantly, is the character that I built in him since he's young and he's showing it right now as a fruit of my teaching, maybe. Going beyond academics and looking past exam results, parents and students are urged to look beyond the indicative score ranges and assess the suitability of a secondary school as a whole. It is also very important to consider the distinctive programs that each secondary school offers, um, their CCA offerings as well, because we are talking about choosing the school that will nurture their children's interests and passions for the next four to five years, you know, in their next phase of their journeys. Lutfil Kalik is choosing his secondary school based on his passion for coding. The former gaming addict made full use of the circuit breaker period to learn programming languages like Java and Python. When I was primary four, my school introduced a coding program which makes me interested in coding. Then my friends introduced me to Roblox and I found out I can make games on there. So I decided to learn how to make games using the skills I already have. The aspiring software developer hopes to join robotics as a CCA at Nian Secondary School.